should be a fun one here this morning at Como at Mizzou Arena. Yeah, I think I've had to turn the volume up in my, my headphones twice now, and this is a great environment for these uh, these uh, college athletes to play in, and, and uh, it's really nice that they could be here. Mizzou controls the opening tip. A look at their starting five. It's the same starting five from last time out. They win 71-60 at Arizona State. As here's an early look from Hanson, and she hits her first shot. How do you like that? You highlight her in the pregame. She comes out fire. Yeah, wonderful shot from Hanson, but but don't lose the the screen that she got from Sarah Lithicum. Like that was it, it just again wonderful execution from Mizzou on their motion offense. On the other side for Omaha, the notable here for the same starters as their last game, but Jalen Towns and first-year player Juco transfer from Johnson Community College makes her first career start here with the Omaha Mavericks. Good defense here. The mama Dembele, a kick out to the left wing. Almost hit on the shot there. Grace Cave, who could not connect. Yeah, Cave's looking for a foul on that one, but late in the shot clock, probably a good no call. Hanson again. You give her some airspace. She's got that quick trigger, and it is a real smooth shot from the senior from Long Island, New York. Yeah, and so far this pace is ferocious. Just the first few plays, and uh, that really works in Mizzou's favor because I believe they have a deeper bench uh, than what Omaha's coming here with. Kennedy Grant drives it, can't get the bucket to go. Rebounded by Mama Dembele, who goes the other way. Dembele, who missed a couple of games early on this season with that broken nose. Here's another three on the way, and it's buried by Haley Frank. The senior from here in Missouri hits her first shot of the day. Yeah, that was a mismatch. Uh, Omaha didn't find their didn't find their marks, and uh, certainly you don't want Elena Pulakuta out there um, trying to match up with Frank. A couple of early rebounds for Dembele, the five foot six junior guard from Spain, pushing the ball, gets a paint touch, kicks it right back out. Another three this time. It's from Troop and Haley Troop hits. The yes. zoo pouring it on in the opening two minutes, eight nothing out of the gate. Yeah, and what Omaha is going to have to do to to really compete offensively is they're going to have to drive, they're going to have to kick it, but they're going to have to hit those shots. Uh, they're looking for Pilakuda. Mizzou right now is doing a really good job of taking her away as an offensive threat. Three on the way, straight away. Haley Troop hits. It's not just about them scoring, it's also about stopping Mizzou from scoring. Sarah Rhodes Smith, the junior from Victoria, Australia, checked in at the buzzer there. For Mizzou, mid-range jumper and on the board for Omaha. And Bele drives, kicks it back out. Troop, can she get her third? And it rips out no good, but Smith is right there to clean things up. They've done such an amazing job so far on both sides of the floor. They've stymied that Omaha offense, especially on the interior. How about the deep triple from Micah Lindica? That's dangerous for Omaha if you have the big girl up top being able to shoot as well. She's attempted two threes this year, and she's hit both. Just another threat for Mizzou from beyond the arc. They swing it around. They had somebody open in the corner momentarily. A couple of freshmen on the floor right now for Mizzou, but a look inside. And with the gum, leaves it on the rim, but it comes back down. And Talking with her prior to this game, um, right now her team's in a learning phase. Like, they got to learn lessons from, from the hard times that they're coming, from the games that they've lost, from the challenges. I mean, they're coming off of a game where they lost a heartbreaker in overtime. Leah Stanley kicks it out to the corner. Kaitchis with the three. No good. Wrong box out there from Lauren Hansen. Gilbert, the transfer from Notre Dame. Grant student from Indianapolis, Indiana. Her first year here with the Tigers. Lithicum was already looking for that career high. Instead, it's Hansen. And she hits her first. The ball at the high post. They run off the high post, maybe for a handoff. Wasn't there. Hansen comes around. Lithicum helps block her defender. Gets an open shot. Knocks it down. Gilbert with the jumper. She hits right before the horn. Leah Stanley as they swing it around. It's stolen by Gilbert. Hesitation drives all the way to the tin for the easy deuce. Utah is playing hard. You can tell they're trying to run their game plan. They're looking for Pilakuta. They're rotating the ball. They're getting some open threes. They're just not hitting them. That was a great look. It seems like when they get out and go in transition, they tend to find more open shots than in the half court offense. With the camera, look, it's time for Haley Frank. Yeah, they just need some shots to start falling. I, I, I still think they're working hard. They're getting good looks. They're running their offense. They're trying to incorporate different players with the game mostly rolling around Pilakuta. And you see they're, they're even bringing Pilakuta up 
Grace Cave with the team's first three of the day. They had been one of ten from beyond the arc. She rises high on that jumper. Her coach talked about she's got the highest vert on the team at 28 inches. Strong take oozes with positivity. She had the team do a whole lot of team building activities in their road trip out in California. Hanson with the deep three and she connects. Making their free throws like they normally do. It's going to be a long night for them if uh, they can't start hitting some of their shots. And another three goes. The Mizzou men's team is, is uh, an exciting team to watch. Very fast paced right now. I know this community is very excited about this game. First time it's been here in a long time, so uh, it's going to be a, a tremendous matchup. There's reason for excitement for the men's and the women's side. Combined, they have just one loss at this point in the season, and they both have votes to get in the top 25. Neither one ranked so far there. From Nebraska, Grace Cave, who hits. Yeah, really nice pull-up jumper. Like you said, very smooth. Uh, held her follow-through. Excellent shot. She's got both buckets for Omaha here in the second quarter. Nice move at tying a career high. Tremendous footwork out of Lithicum. Bronke, the freshman, gets a paint touch. They kick it around, extra pass into the corner, open look, and another three. And it's a skip pass. The extra pass, Mama Dembele wide open, but can't hit the three. Great ball movement, though, from Mizzou. Yeah, motion office offense continues. Uh, wonderful look. Dave hits her second three. Great bounce pass to the top of the key. The extra pass is always made by this Mizzou offense. And burying another. That's how they drew up the baseline out of bounds, but it was effective. <laughs> you know, it didn't have a whole lot of juice on it. It was an open player there at the top of the key at Troop. Don't usually expect the bounce passes to bounce twice, but got the job done. Lead back up to 33. Floating in the lane and hitting. Nice layoff in the paint for Linthicum. Lost the ball momentarily. Instead, it's a straightaway three. No good for Troop. Townsend doesn't have number, numbers, but pulls up and hits. Sets a nice mid range. He's been looking for her shot in her first start of the season. Didn't come out shooting it all that well, but two for seven now. Drive to the hoop and the bucket good. Got her dribble awfully far away from the hoop. Look inside. Morgan Gardner skips it over and it's picked off. Gilbert going the other way. Hanson thought about it. Right there, though, was Aaliyah Stanley. Michael Lipticum, who with their next shot or free throw could get a career high. She's at nine points right now. Gilbert hits the three two. Gilbert snaps three of five. She's got seven points. And stolen away by Hanson. Nobody in front of her. Coast to coast for the easy deuce. 6 0 run in the last minute, 20 seconds. Grant with a strong take on the way. Baskets, which we didn't see in the first half. Frank spins, floats, can't hit, kept alive by Smith, and it stays with the Tigers. Smith, such a force, such a hard worker down there in the interior, especially when a shot goes up. Gilbert gets the screen from Hanson. A shorter defender on her at Stanley. Smith puts it on the deck, gets all the way to the hoop, and finishes with the left. Now the break, and we're uh, full court pressing here. A new look here from Robin Pinchton here in this game. I hadn't seen the full court press yet. It leads to an open three, though, and triggering it. And Felici, the redshirt junior from Bellevue, Nebraska, hits it. Floater off the window, too strong. Stays right here, reverse layup, up and in. She's leading the team right now in scoring uh, and really helping out because they're because Mizzou's taking away uh, Pilacuda right now. Great cut there and the bucket. Smith got double, maybe even triple team there in the post. Used the pivot foot well, able to find the open player down on the baseline. But Omaha, they still made four of their last four shots. Missouri has now made six of their last eight. In a great offensive quarter. Gardner with the deep two. In the general out there was Kate. She brought the ball down, play didn't work. She got the ball back. She reset them, got a good look. Six of ten here this half for the Omaha offense and well, they hit five shots in a row. It was a slow start. Smith drives and gets the bucket plus the five. Two shots in a row. Another. Yeah, this community is excited about it. 
uh, there's been a buzz all week on campus. And, uh, yeah, it was fun talking to Coach Gates. I agree. He was playing a little bit coy, keep, keeping us cool, uh, not giving any locker room material, that's for sure. And it's his first matchup all time against Kansas for the first year at Lacuna, who had eight points her last time out, then ended a stretch of seven straight contests in which she had double digit scoring. And so far today, she's got two points. They both came from the line. She does not have a field goal. Oh, five. Hasn't really even been looking for his shot all too much. Brant, shot clock at six. Drives, elbow, jumper is good. They're still working their offense, though. Again, they're still working on that pick and roll. They're working on those jumpers. They're, they're trying to uh, take what the defense is giving them. Another take in to the right side for an It's a tough team to contend with. Yeah, you're exactly right. They're not going to come back and win this game at this point, but Coach is still coaching. Uh, you know, they're still working hard. She talked about this uh, when we talked to her before the game started. Judd was the one who hit that three. Masu back over 40% from beyond the yard. Now Pila Kuda still can't get her first field goal. Yeah, it just hasn't been her day today. Gilbert into the open floor, fights Crocky, the easy left to the From her fourth double-double of the year. Gilbert's wide open. Step inside the three-point line, can't hit. Missouri's season high offensively, 83 points. They beat Bradley back on November 10th, 83-38. That was also their largest margin of victory this year, 45 points. Right now they lead by 47. Well, make it 44. Stanley with an eight triple. Michael Lithicum has been efficient with her time. 21 minutes on the floor, nine points, four of four from the field. Hit her lone three attempts. Gilbert triggers the inbounds, shot clock reset to 20. Lit the cup for a season high, and she hits it. She gets the three, and she's got 12 today. Big smile on her face, and even even uh, better, the bench just went nuts and excited for her to make that shot. Season high and career high. She had nine in the first half, waited till the waning moments of the game to get her first bucket of the second half, but... Not only does she get a new career high, Missouri ties their season high with those 83 points. Great way to close out the game for Mika. Gardner, no whistle. Just missed it short, and now Mizzou can let the clock wind down. Gilbert has it, five seconds left. Mizzou's gonna get the win, 83 to 36, the final. The Tigers improved with 10 and one this year. They've won four games in a row.